Okay, everybody, this is my, my final video for the seawall. I've been documenting this thing since the start. And uh, today is a great day because we are finished with the seawall. And there's some still some cleanup I got to do down here, but I've now completed. This has been about 33 days that I've been working on this. I started January, around January 3rd. And um, actually, I started the demo in December, but I started the construction January 3rd. So it's taken me just over a month to do this uh, with uh, my, the help of one other person, which was my neighbor. And uh, essentially, like I said in the beginning, I did this job because I just couldn't get it done for the price. I needed it, and it was out of my budget to have a contractor do it. So I researched it, and I did it myself. And the wall is now complete. It's backfilled. And uh, I'm going to do a second video after this just to do the technical terms or the technical uh, part of the seawall for those of you who have been asking about uh, the way I built it and, and things like that. So I'll do a separate video for that. But I want to use this uh, final video to say the wall is done. Here's my top cap. And we're going to walk down. Whoa. We're going to walk down and take a look at the wall. The tide's up right now. So can't go all the way down because um, I don't want to get wet. But uh, this is it, folks. Appreciate you going along on the journey uh, with this wall and i want to say a couple things that uh well i got 13 feet back here into the grade so then we'll get a one last look down the wall there and then i'm going to jump up on my neighbor's dock just to give you so you'll see those two four by fours one of them's coming out on the end and that one there is going to stay i'm going to use that as a um, mount for a ladder that i'm going to be able to get back and forth from the sand up to the seawall this is actually my neighbor's beach right here so i don't really like walking over here too much anyways that's it folks it's done i feel really good about it it took a lot of work and um it was probably the it is the biggest project i've ever done diy so yeah, anyways, wanted to say that this project was, there was three things I got on this project that I needed. One was good weather, good tides. So the tides come up and go, and if without the tide being uh, low for the week I took off work, I would have never got this done. And so, and then finally, good help. So those three things, I would have never got this job done without those three things. And the help came from my neighbor, who, his name's Ken, he's awesome. And all three of those things were given to me by God. So I want to say thanks to the Lord for those three things. I would have never got this done without those three things. So, and then finally, uh, the reason why I was super inspired to do this was because 2022 was... Uh, a really really bad year for me and my family I lost four family members in 2022 and uh, it, it's been it's been terrible so this was kind of a, a project that I did to kind of help me blow off some of that steam and uh, this area here is all going to be dedicated to my dad and the little, this little space right here from this area where I'm putting in a retaining wall uh, is going to be called Gary's Place. So this little spot is going to be like a party pad where we can have gatherings and stuff. And that's going to be the name of it. So obviously my dad, his name was Gary. So we're going to call this Gary's Place. But uh, again, I want to dedicate this wall to my four family members that passed this year. And um, we miss you guys. So that's it. I built my own seawall. You can too. Check out uh, some more videos below to see um, how I did the technical side of it. So if you're interested in that. Thanks guys and uh, have a blessed day.